to this week's episode of Accelerated Development. And on today's program, we'll be taking you through a recap of the various developmental projects at the grassroots level. We'll be starting off with the Oluyole local government area, where Honorable Olaide Kukwola Seto is the chairman. Three women and the man were promptly rescued at Oluyole local government area through the efforts of local security agents and the police. The victims were on their way to a quarry site along the express road. The council's boss, Olaide Seto, while speaking on the incident, attributed this success to one of the fallouts of the recently held security meeting with both conventional and non-conventional security agents at the council's secretariat, which led to the quick rescue of the kidnapped victims. Street organizing a security summit, the real security summit, that exploring local intelligence in a policing of the local government. So, at that we were able to gather both conventional and non-conventional security outfit, all the DPOs within the real local government. We also discovered that there is need for collaborative effort between both state and non-state actors. So, to the glory of God, we were able to come up with a resolution, and that resolution was, was able to give birth to a security task force, the New York local government security surveillance team. If they call that these uh, disgruntled elements, so called disgruntled elements, have kidnapped some of our people along with make the Oniga Barrio while going to Itegode. So, we were able to lift the board on the air through the help of the New York local government security and the surveillance team. We are set up during the the summit, we have been able to map out a perfect template on how to produce a new local government effectively, and that is working perfectly for us. You are welcome back. Now, let's go to Akinyele local government area. At Akinyele local government area, where Honorable Tao Reed Adedigba is the chairman. the road uh, initially it is a third road and you know it's a long uh, uh, turning of the road that we even met it there and uh, uh, the road if you if you want to pass through the, if you want to pass through that road from bank bus stop going to Mania high school then you can also pass through the place down to Mania Barak Road. It, uh, through that road, you will get to a junction where the road leads to uh, Elijah Meta. Truly, the road needs the attention of the government. And we have been trying uh, to ensure that we are able to fix the road. And uh, we have it in mind uh, where, during our caretaker period. Uh, when the governor given us an opportunity to identify the tangible road, we identified that road. And uh, we have, because I was born and bred uh, from Mania, uh, where you are talking about, I have it in mind to tag that road. We want to hide another one to it because we want to create a circular road within that Mania that will lead to where we are talking about. You know, if you want to embark on a bigger project like that, uh, you have to uh, do your feasibility uh, study very well so that we don't want a situation whereby you will start, you may not be able to complete it on time. So we, I want to seize this medium to appeal to our people that they should exercise patience. It's our job and we appreciate them. And uh, we have been doing a lot apart from that road. Uh, if you look at this uh, NMPC road here, we always uh, grade, uh, uh, do the grading of the road and we have done it like three times now. And all uh, both that NMPC road and where we are talking about Hall Han in the uh, Ward 5, which is a ward out of the 12 ward that we have in Aken local government. Uh, from that ward, we have been able to give them six, uh, six uh, modern toilets 
uh, at the central mosque here, uh, we have been able to give them street light. Uh, this is uh, Aken local government uh, uh, secretariat. If you go out there, you will see the street light. Uh, at the Mania Junction, we are able to give them the street light going to Apapa. Uh, then at the Mania Garage, we gave them street light. Sawmill area, White House, Ajani Fila Street, we have been able to give them street light. And if uh, or talking about this uh, bow, so we gave them a, 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 a functionable bow at the Mania uh, Ballast Compound. Those are the things that I can, you know, even at the, I can recollect. Uh, if you go to Akmamade Mani High School there, we are able to give them chairs and table to support our children's education. So those are the little, little things that we have been able to do for this world alone. And if you are talking about another world, if you go to World 10 at Kaneke Primary School, we are able to give them a, 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 a block of three classrooms uh, together with the chairs and table. So... Uh, we have done a lot, but we want to seize this medium to appeal to our people that they should uh, be patient. We are going to do everything by God's grace because we have a reasonable governor on ground. Governor Seyima Kende is there for all of us. Development near in the Basuke to Yakon Kong, Nick Leo, you won't last you a year. You get be motis of me when near say ye. I could jump or go go on at sea into the Basuke to see why ye, me, it me leo you, me, it jobba to jay, Tessabu, it jobba tea and win. It's one penny, local government level. Only and be ye will say. Kini amon ou in dagba suke to ti waye ikan. Ou la tin soro ni pa elori e tu bayi. At this point, a mamou in lo si la gelu local government area. Ni biti chairman, honorable kazin a de ye monti je a dari wombe. Kini kwa ti won so. We have to give a very big kudus to his excellency Edina Shigmaki for giving us this opportunity to showcase our qualities. Because if you don't have anybody that will just bring you out, you might die with your qualities. So far, so good. We, you know, I had the opportunity of serving as a caretaker chairman for 15 good months. That was when I was at Lagado West yesterday. And all my achievements and my programs were based on the four cardinal points of this administration. First, I took as my priority, the well-being of our people, infrastructural development, vis-a-vis -vis procurement and installation of transformers to give electricity to the most rural areas of this government, construction of bridges and culverts to ease the movement of goods and services from our farms to the suburban areas. Three, we've been able to bring our people together give a kind of uh, palliative, as a kind of soft loss for them that doesn't carry any profit. But basically, my local government there is agrarian in nature. So we've been able to secure 200 acres of land, which we have been able to, we are doing the clearing now. But with the program of Osida, so we've been able to release 100 acres for government. And we are taking, we are taking care of our own 100 acres. Our plan was to have like 50 acres of a customer. There are many 50 acres for vegetables. There are many 50 acres. Our plan was to give it to some farmers who want to create a kind of mini farm settlement. So I will give them the land. They will till the land and farm on it. So when they bring out the, the products, it will be displayed in our local market. I have to dive into security too. If you recall, during the end SARS saga, it is only in this local government that no police station was built. We don't do it. It doesn't happen here. I was able to achieve because I was able to come out. Just as the SNC did, it, I was able to come out and associate with the guys. So monitoring them, 
so that I'll be able to curtail their excesses. So as a chairman, you don't expect me to sit at home. I'm explaining at home. As a chief security officer of a local government, you have to be on your toe. So that's the glory of God. We curtail it. And after that, I've been having my security meeting here. So all the security agencies have been carrying along. Presently, I've prepared and refurbished one of the vehicles of the, uh, of the operation bus. It's so, it has become moribund, but it's now on road again. Two, I've been able to repair another ILOX of the Nigerian police, the Alofaya. I bought a new engine. They are doing the panel everything. They are doing the painting now. Three, I've been able to arrange local hunters, local militias like OPC, uh, Agbekoya, uh, volunteers. You know, I've been able to bring them together and the hunters do to form JVS, Joint Vigilante Scheme, like the local government. So I've been able to equip them with like 10 solid motorbikes. And I'm able to give them all the needed materials. So they are always on the street from night the following morning. So most of the arrests that was made here, from here even to Agidi Bose, to all Adonia, have been those arrests have been made by my boys. And I've been able to leave them with the Nigerian police. Because they don't have their own cell. You don't detain people. You don't torture people. The moment you arrest anybody, just take them to the nearest police station. So the, the cordiality between the non-former security office and the former ones were so cordial that they see themselves as partners in progress. And the idea of education, most of our schools have become dilapidated and primary schools. So we've been able to take some palliative measures in erecting some classrooms, change their roofing sheets, and so on and so forth. Eka bokpada si ori etu. Ege bi ashen lo, ni ba yo, o lo ri shogo local government area o ni ando. Ni bi ti ara binri, o binri tapun tapun bi okonri. Yes, a strong woman, like we all know, Governor Shane Makinde says in his administration, he will give much support to women, which is why the chairman, which is why the chairperson of Lawrence Shogo local government, Madam Juliana Oluwa Kemi, is the chairman there. And um, on assumption of office, she has embarked on so many projects. But Joining in celebrating the 60th year anniversary of Nigeria as a country, the executive chairperson of Lauren Shogo local government area, Madam Oluwa Kemi Juliana Akoni, has urged the people in our area to be rest assured that there will be more developmental projects, as this is a burning desire she has towards her people. Highlighting some of our achievements since inception, which includes purchase and distribution of working materials to vigilante groups, purchase of five brand new boxer bajaj motorcycles to aid security activities in the area, aiding and empowering mentally retarded nursing mother in Ga Akwanla village, among many other achievements. Distinguished audience, eminent personality, ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome every one of us to this August and auspicious occasion of the 61st independence anniversary of our dearest country. Thanks for listening and God bless you for Tisha, 61 years anniversary in Nigeria and Africa. Tia Gba Ominira. Tima Ongba Ladura Ife. Ominira Ta Gba Koni Dominira Moa Ni Ongwa O. Ni Ori Ofi Olonu Pelu Ati Ati Lenyi Oga Nwa Olona Jilo. Engineer Olu Sheyi Omo Makinje. Omo Lodu Mejo. Tati Uri Shere. Tofin Shere Takun Takun. Thank you.
gbugbe ti plani ati kosob to ti wa lori re ni kete ki owo o ba ti tun de si wa lowo aso fun yin pe ni ilu igbeti bebe nlo bebe oduro bebe nte si waju e ka bo pada o se ti ri pe obirin takun takun bi obirin ni won Niba ye je je ka lo si ore lope local government area. Ben, tani o n dari won ni ore lope local government area. Eni na ni Honorable Rahim Akim Adepoju. So je alaga ni ore lope local government area. A se din ka ko ta ko se ni pe a ri daju pe we of all call community and security partners friendly. In je awon ti a jo je omo bibi joba be lo pe pelu awon osise agbo fun iro irepo won odun mo ran telegba ta de a se arupo yen ki se eto abolu ko le ja si rorun awon ona wa ko me ti oye pe be na la tin gbe nkan ko wole a o pe imi to ti ba je nbe ojo ona soro alo satunse re ojo ona yowo ran alo se atunse re to da ni gbogbo pe ti asiko ta won agbe ba n ko ere oko ati mo ko nke oko wole ona wa kan jade lati ilu gbogbo e lo si lati gbogbo e lo si eh hospital kan na ni gbogbo e me te ma fe koja me o fe le lo seju me dogun me a se atun se re ni ranpe tori ka won yen wole ri ibilo obo lojo ona yen o ja kon be ni ijoba bi lo ko ewo de market lan pe awon bi kan si meta ni lati lo se atunse ruvire be ni toilet kan wa me ti o ti pe sibe ti ko je lilo alo satunse toilet na to ti di lilo ni eni altun oko akole eleti o ti ku lai mo yi ojo seyin alo to se a se flooding control ni lu gbogbo e to ri gba mo pe omin da ojo ona ilamu an lati gbe awon eroja ila ojo ona lo sibe lati le se atunse be adejoba ko ti ju osukan ati die lo opo to yo muna wolu to gbe na jade laarin igborolu bi meji di logun abi ogun lo da wo lo le ta awon kon si ba je nbe ta an lati gbera lati se atunse ren tori pe ina mena ma na ta riyan owu lo fa won eyan wa pa pa jula won se owo agbeyanju ati je ka won yan mo pe ijowo wa le mi ati tesi wa ju lori dada yi pin pe ma si ni eleketa ta ma se ni ijoba bi le lo pe face keta ni tojo ana eje ti a fi okokun irinajo yen ninu bipe se security yi na so we pe ani gba we have to protect lives and property of our people here in our local government akoko ti to ba ifun wa lati pada wa si ilu ibadan bi nibi ti alaga ijoba ibile ibadan north west local government iye alaga abdurrahman adepoju nibi ti won ti soro nipa awon o mire 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 ti won ti se ni ijoba ibile won uh, during the we had our hundred days in office just last Thursday, and uh, with that, we are able to make sure that we maintain the security of the local government. We try to make sure that we put all the problems of the the hoodlums, the thugs, the robbery in our local government into caution. So meanwhile, we set up a the policing sector at the local government level. This policing sector is helping us a lot to move around the local government, to survey the people, to know who are the people that are causing the problem within the local government. So with that, they arrest them, they take them to the police, and the police do make sure that they prosecute them. So that's, that one has helped a lot. Just last Thursday, we purchased the motorcycle and the a vehicle for them to, to mix to make their work uh, move better. Also, around Thursday, 
we provided uh, exercise with big notes for the primary school pupils. The whole we have about 42 schools in our local government, and we make sure that we get them the big uh, uh, notes so that to start with at their local go at their schools, and they have been given with all those uh, books. We also make sure we have a uh, compendium to give to our students in primary five and six. You know, they will be looking forward to go and do the external exam, like GT, like common entrance, and so on and so forth. So we have a compendium which comprises of uh, uh, past questions, all, uh, all the exams, and we package them for them, and we give it to the, every school to make sure they use it to treat, to teach their, to teach their students so that they'll be able to, to excel in any exam they go out for. The, the third one is that we have our, our farm where we have uh, doing, we have uh, fish and the, and the birds. So we have poultry farm, we have fish, uh, fishery farm. So if you go to our uh, pond now, you will see our uh, fish, fish that they, how they are doing fine. So they, we are making use of that one just to make sure that we generate uh, If you go to our uh, area, we have done a lot of uh, like bridge, dredging. Yeah, there is a place there where the, uh, the gutter was full of all the rubbish and the water was un is unable to pass through. So we have people to go and we make sure that we, we do that bridge, uh, clear all the rubbish within the uh, gutter. And people are really praying for us and praise, praising us. North local government area where chairman Ayuade Akonji has urged the people to give him his support and that with their support he would lift Ogumoshan North local government area to a higher level. Awara Ijoba Ibile Ogumoshan North ni want to be a shiba kare for alaga Ayuade Kabir Akonji for a way share idagba soke konre konre ti oti waye ni a wang bigbe won Lara iru awon ise be lati ri ise atunse ona atunse si awon oko ti office ijoba ibile ogumo osanna sin lo pipi oko fun awon vigilante ati awon eleto abo miran to wa ni agbegbe ohun iran lowo fun awon akonda ida awon opo ati awon toku die ka to fun pipi ewu ati iwe eko fun awon mo ile eko eto eko fe fun awon akeko to jagere ni ile eko won Bako nan ni alaga tu she e to unwe lo fun a won a gbe to wani ijoba ibile o un. Be, oro e to ilera o gbe yin la ti ofisi o do alaga o gbo mo shan nos. Alaga wa ro a won a ra a gbe gbe o un pe, ki won tu bo fi o konbale. Un to ri pe, ilano gomino o lola ji lo she ima kinde ni o un tenle, ti o won si ni dekun. He shared that by Suke, he job I delay or be motionless. Able to distribute uh, uniform to our students in public primary school and uh, other written my writing materials. On the issue of uh, agriculture, we are able to distribute uh, organic fertilizer to over hundred of our farmers in Ogumosho North local government. On the issue of security, we are able to distribute five motorcycles to our security agencies and the vigilante in Ogumosho North local government. And we've distributed uh, communication gasket to our security agencies in the government of local government. We are able to acquire 8.5 acres of land for the development of our local government. We partner with Uptown Construction Company and the work is, the, the project is ongoing. And we name it Ometoton Shopping Mall. We still have another project that is ongoing. That is, uh, Chairman's quarters, government's quarters. At least we are about to roof that uh, 
quarters. So, he said, no, 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 no. Nigeria police force. I want to want to see budget and the only of a lot of our toshi. And that wraps it up on today's episode of Accelerated Development. Join us again next week on the program. Bye bye.